any of that, but it doesn't matter. And my favorite brush, my Raphael Kalinske. The one brush we had to get in college. I think it's a six. Or a nine, but I think it's a six. Sable. Really? Well, this is usually the one brush that I mainly use. So, yeah. That's where we're at. Hello. It is so nice. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eye, which... Let me just say right off the bat, I don't do watercolor like normal watercolorists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I paint watercolor as if I were an oil painter because I'm primarily more oil painter-ish. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people would put a wash over all of this first and I can do that as well, but I just always have to start with the eyes because I just have to. It's a rule in my own book. Because if you don't get the eyes right, then what's the point of continuing? Right. All right, so I'm just going to tap, tap, tap a couple little colors in. Now here I can go around the pupil or I can go over the pupil because it doesn't matter. It's going to be black and black's going to overtake all that. I do want to save this little highlight here. So you can put that on when the paper's wet. That one section was not wet. So. Yeah, we had a wonderful All right, a couple greens, couple yellows. All right. Now, what I do love about watercolor is that you can multitask. I'm such a big multitasker, multitasking. So I'm going to take a little bit of some orangey red, and I'm just going to start slathering that all over. See that blue? Yes. What did you call that blue? Masking. The, oh, here, I'll just pass Shrinky. it around. Shrinky. That's the brand. Shrinky. I don't, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. That is hysterical. That's how I say it. That's, someone else I know says it that way, too. <laughs> yes, I'm protecting my whites, which normally I don't do. She's masking it, right? Masking it out. Yep. Hi. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just noticed. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording this because Carolyn's not here today. She won't be here for the rest of the semester. So since I'm doing. A watercolor, I thought it would be nice to, you know, videotape it and stick it on my YouTube. So, don't go saying crazy things now. <laughs> it's being recorded. You have a YouTube channel? I do. There's like not much on it, but yeah, go for it. I love your watercolors. They're new. They're new. They're, they're, new. Too, but they're so like, pretty to look at. They're like, uh, blue honestly, in there. like fifth graders. <laughs> <laughs> they're honestly. What did you get for your kids. That well, if I got that for my kids, I'd be broke. But um, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to splurge and get a new nice set because my old set was more of the, the kid friendly type. And I was like, it's time. Oh, so this is a real. This idea. is like the good. This is Windsor and Newton. Adult one. This is. Costly. You find that is oh, like work with it. Hmm, me too. Well, I'm kind of digging the tube, squirting out, mess, exactly. like, because yeah. I'm not used to this little tiny thing. Yeah. I'm used right. to swirling yeah. it around in a bigger area. <laughs> right. So for me right now, it's it's more difficult. This is the first time I'm using this. Oh. So you guys are. Oh, you've got this side too. Yeah, yeah like you guys are just gonna watch That's me struggle. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. You want it, to carry it, it around? It is. Do flat air or something. Oh, it's in gray. I just wanted a better quality paint. You've got a good quality paper so. then, too. It takes yes, a lot of water. this is 300, yeah. 300 pound. Oh. It's a smooth, I think it's uh, when, um, arches. It's smooth, mm. even though it doesn't yeah. feel yeah. that it's smooth. Like it's, so it's hot press? It feels more cold press, though, but I'm pretty sure um, one of my students, you know her, Anne. Bird, Anne. Bird picture, Anne. Um, she. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, had gotten this piece of paper for me. I should re ask her again what, what do you it do is. Also online lessons. I have one online class that I did through a company. Um, I have a group on Facebook that I never remember to post in. That I plan on posting demos and whatnot in. But I also have my YouTube channel. So. There's some online stuff out there. Right. I would like to do more. It's just a matter of 
Because my husband doing does it. a lot of that. You've on got the, that. Yeah. So if you have anything, I would tell him to go. There is my, I have the art of uh, painting horses and the link's on my website. It's like, oh, okay, I have to get that. It's through Craftsy. Yeah. I yeah. I yeah. watched it. It's like the old Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch me. That's what all that matters. Bill Nagy? What was Yeah, he was. Oh. That was him, too, and, and Bob. 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 Bob Ross. Would you believe I was on an airplane, I don't know, a year ago? And one of the things was Bob Ross. And I kept saying, is he still No, <gasps> he's not. No, that's what I thought. It was ago. an old one. And I kept saying, Oh, oh on the TV gosh. screen? That's yeah. cool. It really was. We'll probably calmed the Happy passengers. Trees, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Happy trees, you're good. <laughs> yeah. That would be a relaxing thing to do on a plane, though. Oh, I agree. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Okay, so see in this area how it's like very, it's a creamy white fur, but it's in shadow. So that's why I kind of had this little bit more of a blue tint here to begin with. Mm -hmm. I think I can never get used to watercolors is that they dry lighter. Yes, that's one thing that drives me nuts with watercolor. The only thing, uh, well, there's many things I love about watercolor, but the thing that I do really love about watercolor is the multitasking part. It's like this could be drying and this could be doing something over here. So I'm such an advocate of doing 10 things at once. Because why would you do one thing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, and also while it's a little wet, I just kind of plop in a little bit more of some intense tones. Now, I do have black over here too. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black and a little bit of some blue and mix that in with some of my brown. Just start to get a little bit more darker values. This is raw umber, but it looked so much darker. I'm used to oil raw umber. I'm used to, I guess, my my crappy brand raw umber. On a light page with thinned out with water, it probably is lighter. <laughs> yes, and that's okay. But this set did come with. It came with twelve, and then I ordered like three or four extra colors that I knew I definitely wanted. Yeah, but I also neat. have neat. so many customize. more items. Yeah, and I have room to grow. Oh, you can get little individual ones yes, like the black and yes, the yeah. there. And each the one of these is like around five bucks or so, something like that. It's like watching smoke, isn't it? Oh. You're so good at painting. Oh, stop. <laughs> right. yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> anyway, if you guys don't know Katie Truck, that's Katie Truck. Hi. Hi. Hello. No, I just like to see her. Oh. You should vid uh, video these things. Hey, look, hello. Oh, oh, it's happening. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Katie Chuck. Oh, wait, is this live? No, it's not. Oh, live. okay. Um, that's gonna, way too much pressure. I was going to say, that's really hard. <laughs> I can't hard. handle that. No, no, I would think you'd do the fast ones, right? Okay. And someone watches it. I didn't know they had live. Well, it'll be like DVR. Apparently so. Yeah. Did you know that, yes, they even flew around to Colorado to do some um, in a studio one day? I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, art of painting one that I was, the art awesome. of courses that you were men mentioning. On Craftsy. On Craftsy. Wants to buy it. <laughs> yeah, it's you there. You went to Colorado to do it? Yeah, yeah, they have a studio out there and they filmed me and oh. the makeup and the hair. <laughs> it was a whole weekend <laughs> out. It was in like, Colorado. Uh, but How it big is that? It's a really great video. It's two and a half hours, so you can check it out. It's like 10 bucks. I don't see it. Yeah. But you can just top it and come back and watch it later on. Yes. Yes. I, I watch parts of it more than once. I know, right? Never <laughs> I will. They are. And what's it called again? Awesome. The Art of Painting Horses. Oh. It's on my website. An easy link. All right, we're going to go back to our eye now. Bye. Isn't she fun? I love this brush, though, because you can get a nice little point, but you could also get... Um, like a broad stroke, and I'm sure you can do that with many brushes, but this is the one that I have that does it, so I love it. Let's put some darks in here. Is it just a watercolor brush? Um, I just put it in here. <laughs> I don't do much to it. it. It's like a $40 brush, so, you know. For college, Andrea, this was expensive, but, you know, a lot of brushes now are that expensive. I know, I think so, too. <laughs> What are you trying to say? <laughs> well, I know you've been here. I know, I know. I'm so. just messing with you. <laughs>
All right, let's get a little bit more color in. Now, like I said, with, with oil, I can plop and then be done. Because right. it's strong, it's done, it's the, the color, color you want. It yes, yeah, so it's not going to just fade to a lighter zone and, and do all that. But with watercolor, it's like, ah, oh, I thought I had that dark enough. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's only so much I can squiggle and wiggle in this little tiny pan when they move. I don't Pretty like cool. that. You guys are getting my little critique of this. I have one of those. Little I have one of those. Meat pans, is that what they, they look like? Is it the white and the blue? The white and now only with the blue egg. Yes, the white and blue. I, I, I never thought of it as a meat tray, but <laughs> I thought it was a legit watercolor thing, right? <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> what kind of paints are those? These are Windsor & Newton. Look, I upgraded. Windsor & Newton? Yeah. Remember my other horrible ones? So many people just came in. <laughs> I, I started off with Windsor Newton when I was in school because we had to get them. And they're, I, I mean, they're great quality paint. And then one day I was just like, I'm going to get the nice set. And it came, and this is the first time it's being used. I should take a picture of it. I should commemorate this. Well, it's neat. Right. It's going to stay neat. It's going to. So a lot of the times, too, and this is a very important tool over here as well as the paper towel because I'm constantly grabbing water, which will dilute the paint in here, and then I slurp a little bit of it out, and then I just squiggle the brush across, and that just diffuses it. Kind of like when I do oil painting, it just, um, I can smush it with a dry brush, and it softens the edges. That's my way of smushing with, with watercolor is by taking a little bit of that, maybe slurping that out, I could vacuum it, slurp it up, so that way I don't get those hard edges. Some people like the hard edges, those are fine. Mm -hmm. You can do yeah. that. That's not watercolory to me. See, I think it is very watercolor. The hard edge, I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, mm. it too, I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, because I don't know how to do what I intend, so. Let's get a I little bit more red. Edges. Get some purple in there no, deep in the dark. Should be some kind of transparent. Transparent. Yes, it's they weird. should be very transparent. Although, like I said, I tend to get very heavy with my darks with watercolor too, and it tends to look very more as if a oil painter were painting in watercolor, <laughs> which is what it <laughs> is. Um, if you wanted to get a background in that, did you go around it? Oh, I'm gonna do a background. Okay. I'm gonna go around it. Mm. I'm not gonna go over it. Is that what you mean? Will you mask it out, the, the outline out, or no? Freehand it. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm so used to not using the masking. Like I forgot I had that on here. And for those of you that came in after, the blue will be white. I'm protecting it with a fancy thing called masking fluid. It's like a band-aid protector. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <gasps> oh, did you guys see that thing about the guy that won on Jeopardy a bunch? <gasps> Oh my gosh. I keep watching. I thought he's still going. He's yeah, still going. He's still going. Yeah. Over he's a million. Still going. Uh, Over a million. And then his daily record was like 118. Yeah. Which yeah. was a record. Yeah. Forever. Isn't that? Yeah. Same he's a high flyer, though. Proposals he's got. <laughs> Probably, right? <laughs> he bets yeah, the house. He's very wow. um, confident. Because he's brave. You well, know. he's a professional he's, gambler. Yes. You're so right. he knows when to yeah. bet it and when to not. And he, he doubles won't. up on the big numbers. Yeah. When did he Good start? for him, though. Uh, 14, 14 days 11, ago. 11 times. Wow. Okay. I have he still has gotten fist can yeah, good. Oh, really? Yeah. He, yeah. Was, he, was, he hasn't reached him yet, but that's his goal. Hasn't reached him. Jennings was I think he can do it. time winner. How much did he win? Over a million. Well, that's what this guy is over a million already. Well, Jennings is way ahead of him. Mm. But he's he's gaining on him. Whatever it is, I mean, he's doing great. I mean, he's not going to eat the heels of his bread much. And, and what's the chocolate? He was on what medium was on? Oh, you're not oil. Yeah, look oil. Yeah. I yep. How did you do that? You know, fine. Fine. No, but I watched it. I, um, I know it's stroke. Well, I just have a little brush, and I find the key. Like one hair or no, it's not even that thin. Sometimes I use a flat brush. 
Sometimes um, I find though the blend that's key to making whiskers and oil is using a blend of turp and your medium. A thinner and uh, still maintaining the body of it because that's important. It's amazing. Using liquid and your turp for to create a fluid stroke in oil. That has a nice ring to it. The one hair round. It sounds like a drink. So that's a special brush that you're using? This is just a sable brush. No, no, it, for the uh, oil. Oh, no. This no, is no, just, just, and just turpin. Nothing fancy. No, no, just turpin, uh, and a very oh, light no. touch. That's all. That's all it is. There's nothing crazy about it. Sometimes I use a flat brush. I don't even use a, a hard um, liner brush or anything. All right, let's go a little bit further with this eye because the eye is what normally I do first, but since I can only go so far mm -hmm. with this particular medium, I have to wait. Why do you do the eyes first? Just because you like I like, I like some, well, number one, I like something looking back. And right. number two, if I mess up on the eye later right. and there's no going back, it's like I did all this work. Right. Like now the eye is bad. But I like what you told me. It is me the most important. Probably a couple of years ago when I would sneak in and talk because I'm always painting animals. And you like doing the eye first, you said, because it brought the animal to life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you get an eye that truly looks like a live mm -hmm. eye. You can go forward. You, yeah. yeah. Then you, it, because you, you are like doing it, an animal. And I'll never forget that. That was a big <laughs> I haven't invested anything. In it's important. Mm -hmm. Well, the two that I did, the end of the day. Well, really I got plenty of You have a tendency to the eye, draw the dogs. eye round. The eyeball itself yeah. is yeah. is round. It's, round. it's just the, whatever animal it is, it's going to change with the lid. And like our eyes look yeah. oval because yeah. our yeah. openings are yeah. more of an oval. Yeah. That's true. Much cheaper. So it's what you uh, outline the eye, but it is round. much cheaper. It's like yep. one hundred sixty dollars. Well, it depends on the angle Apple you're looking at. Right. You That's true. It it's not because the eye is not flat in real life. Right. It's all got depth to it, so you all might only see one side. An of eyeball. It. It's called a ball for a reason. Exactly. You don't call the police if I fall down like the eye. Like, just by having that pupil in. It's like it's instant, <laughs> instant <laughs> eye. Let's get some background in, though. I all of I really like the blue look, so I'm going to do that kind of blue thing again. I'm going to use cobalt blue this time. I was going to develop you that something was going on in the street. You take me here. This is one o'clock in the morning. I hear trucks and trucks. And, you know, when they go beep, 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 Careful, that, just because mm -hmm. it's really there. Smell. I smell <laughs> car. A little stare during the road. This morning I got up and there's a whole new road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice thing to wake up to, though. If, really, if you'd called the police, they would have they told you. me. <laughs> well, they would have told me. Yeah. But I started to dial them, and I went to the non-emergency. Right. Nobody's here to have to take me. <laughs> oh, that's not good. No, well, it was not emergency, so. Mm -hmm. But what I, 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 I would have just I, thought it was my neighbors. They seem to have so many trucks. I <laughs> thought I really smelled tar, so, and I, I was going to. Well, your, your intuition was correct. Sure now see how I made back here a little bit darker soon to be a little mm -hmm. bit more dark mm -hmm. down here I can make it lighter because I want this which needs to be darker to showcase more against this mm -hmm. which will be light and I think I did the same thing yeah on my oil one so it makes it pop out. Okay. yeah so here just by comparison I know that I have to go a little bit darker now with my I'm so not used to this palette. I'm just like grabbing colors. Like, what are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's many ways to get to one color. Mm -hmm. I used to pick the right colors, <laughs> which is hard for me. Oh, there's no right or wrong. <laughs> like I said, you can get to any oh, color, color, sort of. That? Andrea you would have no problem doing a purple cat. You know, so it doesn't. I matter. was thinking the same thing. A purple cat leave the whiskers blue. It's yeah. funny because I like never really get too crazy with my colors. That's did a purple cat. Last year. Yeah, I mean, I, you're right. I did a purple pig, right? Yes. A pig. That's interesting. They're around. It did sporadically. <laughs> that skull. I don't remember what colors you did. Mine. Oh, like I remember that. Party colors, pink. Yeah. And, blue. Mm -hmm. and there was that bear I did with the holy paper.
<laughs> um, let's see, let's give a little bit more of this purple in here. And then we'll go back here again with the light. So let me just put some water down first, slurp it around, grab some of this blue. Yeah, that's the right color. I think I get fairy dust. You should remember that. Because I speak the fairy hope and brace. Just do it. There we go. Okay. Now, ideally, I would, you know, dry it with a hair dryer and whatnot. But since it's watercolor and you can multitask, you know, you could just move to a separate area and develop it that way. Like the nose here could be a little bit darker. We have what I call whisker holes. I don't know if that's what they're really called, but I call them whisker holes. I want to see yes. myself take it off too. Yeah. <laughs> How do you take it off? You just, you just like it? rub it or you can use um, like an eraser. It's just rubs right away. I used to have a rubber cement eraser. When you like it. Um, I'm thinking I could tell Roberta if she had Oh, I just have to put it on my YouTube, and it will be on YouTube before the end of the day, for sure. Actually, this is a picture I did, in fact, because I sent it to my sister. Can you, can you recognize it? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. 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 Then it dried. So we'll get some burnt sienna. We're going to get some of our. Oh, I don't know if I like that color there. I keep thinking it's ultramarine. Get some ultramarine. We're going to get some alizarin crimson. Purple of eye. Dark. Well, no comment. Yeah. Oh, you made just recently. Slurp. Since this is wet and this is wet, there might be a little bit of bleeding action, mm -hmm. which is okay. But if you don't like the bleed, you just dry your brush and slurp and vacuum, mm -hmm. and then it's gone. Look at that background. That looks so pretty. Color's very good. I find every time I put in more darks, it's just like ah, and then it dries. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, all right, well let's do this again. That's how I end up with mud. This is ant. And you could always lift a little bit too while it's still wet. So that's always a good thing. And if things are a little dry, you just wiggle, agitate, lift. Some colors stain more than others though, so you just have to be mindful of that. And if it's already stained, you just say, whatever. Live with it, it's fine, no one will know. Is that her And all these little white hairs in the ear will show more if I have dark around them. So we're gonna make it even darker. Plop some of that in there. Sometimes I just drop it in and let it do its thing. I could do anything I want, but also I can, like, l with all the layering that I'm right. able to do, I can just keep going, keep going, keep going, and adjust the colors to a certain extent. Because, right. I mean, it is watercolor. It's not like I could just plop opaquely on top and let things get mm -hmm. a different color. Like, that background's going to stay bluish. So, yeah. And then we'll plop in some more darks for our whisker holes. When I squint my eyes, there's less line separating whisker bulge cheek thing to this back area. <laughs> I should know the technical terms. The cheek and the non-cheek. Mm -hmm. Here it's a little abrupt. And I know you guys are probably watching this, not my eyes, but I'm always squinting. And when I squint, I'm seeing what lines are soft and which lines are hard because that's gonna really help figure out dimension, softness, where things ends, where things start. And we're gonna amp up this darker again up here. It should be kind of dry. Wash, 
wash and dry. All right. <gasps> <laughs> It's okay. It's not like you guys are talking about anything like crazy. <laughs> She's showing me. She I figured ASOs. that. It's fine. <laughs> All I ask is that we don't talk about like crazy stuff. Because you guys are a crazy yeah, bunch. Like <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so at this point, what I can do is I can still like deepen and darken a lot of areas. But what you have to decide when you're doing something with this masking fluid is what is around it the value that you want. So like around the whiskers, am I satisfied with the value that is in this area? Because when I wipe this off, I'd have to paint around it all. And you know, like some people would do that, but I don't want to do that. So yeah, it's like why, Excuse me. why make more work for yourself? So that's why I'm just pushing it a little bit further. Is that, oh, I keep grabbing the phthalo. I might, I really might have to switch those. Once again, establishing our darks. There's a dark, there's a dark, everywhere's a dark. Soften and smudge. Use the side of your brush. Squiggle, wiggle, shimmy. All those technical Whatever terms. term yeah. you want to use. <laughs> for that. All right. I do want to take off this um, masking fluid the wire here. So I'm going to just blow on it. And while that is drying, is there hair drying? Sunglasses. They're around, it's just... Yeah, sometimes it's just in the cabinet. No one's been here really. Well, the kids have been here last week. They probably like cleaned up the whole place and put everything back to where it was supposed to go. Because, you know, Did that you do anything last week? Not here. No, like... Um, just in general, you mean, yeah. in my life? <laughs> we went to grounds for sculpture. Oh, that was nice. It's always nice. Yeah, kids like it. Yeah, yeah. It was their second time there. It was hot. Uh, when it's hot there, it's it was very hot. And I like was a bad mom, and I dressed them in long sleeves. So <laughs> I didn't know, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. We were we were there once. It was so hot. They they did good. We didn't see everything, but I'm okay because we saw everything last time, and it was really you know we spent a good amount of time and. We had fun, so that's all that matters, right? Well, it was a good week for vacation for you. Yeah. Like there was no class. Yeah. I was. I, I, I've been halfway around the world. I was in South Africa last week. Wow. wow. Yeah. So cool. What was that? Well, my my daughter lives there. Yeah, it was good. That's so cool good. that your daughter lives there. Yeah. I don't know anyone that has family yeah. there. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's been there a long time. Oh. Awesome. I think there. love. Uh. <laughs> nice I said she fell in love. Fell in love with his accent. <laughs> they have what an English accent, accent or yes. Dutch. Yeah. Dutch. Oh. Yeah. But it's a nice uh, one. Yeah, it's and so my grandson has it too. So. Oh that's cute. Oh, it's, it's Connors, aren't they? No, no, no. They're British. No. No. Okay. No hair dryer, right? <laughs> okay, everybody, hot air. Everybody. <laughs> so I want to hire now. So. How long have they been there? She's been there 17 years. Maybe they were next door. Yeah. So the water actually yeah. making some paint. Okay. Would it be, would, when you dry it up, would it be flat again? Oh, this? I mean, yes, but to me, this isn't even that bad. Like, if you were using a 140 or a 90 pound paper, it would yeah. be very. I have oh, some. Yeah, right. this is like you could build a house skull, probably in 1950 oh, something. Really, yeah, it is so it's so heavy and so textured. Oh, right. It's a whole different thing to try. It is, know. and you know, it's kind of cool though because you could like huh? build a house with it. Like, it's so <laughs> strong. Yeah, you can look next door and they don't even have no. a, There's not one over there. Or boo. Well, they're all in the dryer room.
Yeah, yeah they're probably where they should be. <laughs> I just wonder, how did you clean it? <laughs> Everyone has that. Which I'll one? show you the brush I use. I see it. It's still going. It changed my brush. Hi, This is he made that one. So, oh, nothing. Oh, just there. Just two, zero. It's nothing crazy. Oh. Yeah. Because you have to do a very quick one. I no, I actually do it very slow. So. I do. I used to do a, a flinging so that quick, but... More. It allows the somewhere. it allows the gravity to, to take the paint okay. to drip out. So yeah. How's your arm? Good. I was like, that's a new dance, but then I remembered. Well, that's smart for the blood circulation, right? Maybe I'll hold it here for a little bit. How long has she been there? 17 years. Wow. That's sick. Yeah, we've been there about how much time? 20. About 20. Still a little wet. Ah, maybe I should really just let it dry, and I'll call you guys back when I. Take it off. When you have the great reveal, I could do that. The big reveal, yeah. So yeah, I'll take off the mask later. All right, so we're gonna take this stuff off. It's just hard eraser. Oh my goodness! Now, when you take it off, it looks very stark. So our job is to soften it. So just because you take this off doesn't mean it's the cherry on top done. Well, you wow. need to, you know, work a little more with it. Make them feel like they're not just white lines sitting on top of paint. You paint like a pale blue or... Or blue just soften where they go in to what? I did. It is videoing. So you use an eraser to take it off? Or like a rubber cement eraser, or you could sometimes use your finger, but my finger was not cooperating. Mm -hmm. But just something that's like rubbery and, and pencil. <laughs> so what's this is blue material? It's masking fluid. And they make it in not blue. Mm. But I thought blue. Yeah. All my other ones have been not blue and I'm like, they haven't worked for me. <laughs> We're going to do blue this time. <laughs> Okay. Isn't that interesting? So it's the third time of charm. I I'm I'm digging it. So far it is. Little pieces. I'll just use my hand. How wonderful. So now, see how like this is so just like wow. What happened to the paper? I would just take some, put a little color, and maybe just soften where it maybe comes in, maybe break up the white with a little bit of something. Um, like in here now, I see it has to just be a little bit darker. How did you do them on your oils? I used, where's that one green brush? Just brush. Yeah, Nothing fancy. Just a regular oh, round I brush. Yeah, I didn't so put any, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, so I didn't put ones. any whiskers in. <laughs> What? Yeah. It's, it's hard to make that smooth. I just I mean, went very slow, and it's a balance of the terpenoid and the the medium. That's mm. really all it is, because a steady you need the flowiness yeah. of the medium, know, yeah. but too much of the flowiness of the medium makes it blobby. Yeah. So you need the terp to make it thinner and more fluid, but not thin mm. without body, which is why you need the medium. For a while, I was only using the medium. Mm. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just, you know, what is the medium? My liquid or linseed oil or any of Lincoln those Wilkes things. Oily any of that stuff. Anything that's not runny like the turp, because when you use the turp, it's just very thin and runny. So it's a, I found it was a balance of both. Good for grasses, good for all of that kind of stuff. So, so see, I just put a little bit of blue on some of these whiskers, mm -hmm. so they just feel a little softer. I'm using the cobalt blue just so they're not too Real stark, loud. Yeah. Like it's so faint, you know, you might not even be able to notice the difference, but I do. Even here, it's a little thick on the bottom, so I'm just gonna take some color and 
to make it a little bit softer as it emits out from that little eyebrow whisker hole. So, yeah, that's pretty much masking fluid in a nutshell. And then you would just kind of go around and say, all right, where else do I want to fiddle and all that? And that's it. I like how this dried in, into a very intense purple. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. So anyhow, that so that's is... that. I'll sign it. Now you're doing what you're it's doing. done. Yep. Do you use that Take a little blue, I, I slurp it out. I never slurp. Why don't you use water? So it's... I haven't been terribly successful with it since it looked very cut out. Yeah, it's I tricky. That's why you always have to go back in and fiddle.